Hi friend. In today's episode, I will discuss about one of the questions we come across very frequently that how we can use any trading strategy in option. For example, we talk about in this channel Bank Nifty Trading Pro 2.10 Excel and Bank Nifty Trading Pro 2.10 Excel gives trade when you input few data that you can get from any website we use tradingview.com and by inputting the data you will uh, get the trading plan for the day ready and you have to trade accordingly now i will today not go in details on how to use the bank nifty trading pro but i will use i will talk about i will talk about how you can uh, use it in option or more importantly few points which i believe that need to be clear about the options trading whether uh, whatever may be your trading strategy now this bank nifty trading pro 2.10 excel is designed uh, when you enter the uh, few data the first 15 minute data then uh, everything is uh, mentioned clearly in the free guide the link is under descriptions you can download the 60 minute expert guide that contain everything whatever you need to trade uh, this strategy effectively but before that let me uh, show you once you enter the data here once you enter the data uh, in this column then in step 2 you will find multiple conditions and among one of those conditions should be uh, fulfilled or if not fulfilled then it will say there is a no trade today and once you will find that then uh, as for example this day the conditions 2 was uh, the strategy and when you will move to the conditions 2 tab you have a trade ready now comes to the option part now this strategy is basically um, we use trading in future because the level the buying level or selling level and what should be your target where you will exit what is your exit plan all these comes um, with the data of the future now the question is that how we can use it in option now, but before that, I want to uh, discuss about few point. Number one, in option trading, in option trading, you have two choice. One is one leg option trading, one leg option trading, and another option is multi leg option trading. Now. What is one leg option trading and what is multi leg option trading? In one leg option trading, you just buy or sell, uh, that means write uh, one option. That is, uh, suppose you bought um, 36,000 call option or you bought 36,000 put option. If you want, uh, if you want to, uh, if your view is that market is going down that is uh, one leg um, option trading and in that case you enter a particular option and then you place a target and you place a stop loss and your trade is done on the other hand in multi leg option trading you buy one or two uh, sorry two or three uh, multiple uh, option uh, to design a hedge positions we call it option strategy so for an example if you think that um, uh, market is uh, remain in a range then you can sell a out of the money option and you can uh, sell a uh, out of the money call option say and out of the money put option both the option you uh, write um, because your assumption is that market will stay in a uh, range 
or suppose um, you are expecting um, that um, market is likely to uh, move big in that case uh, you can create a straddle or strangle um, to be benefited from that so that is the multi leg option trading but multi leg option trading generally works better when you your holding period is slightly long that means um, it is kind of swing trading in intraday trading managing a multi leg option is very difficult and that is not such beneficial if you are not writing the option now writing the options will require huge um, capital inflow at the beginning so that is the reason most of the trader trade buying option or prefer buying option and in intraday basis buying one leg option that means only um, uh, call or put is beneficial now in second part we must understand the basic uh, things of trading option now there is option is a vehicle for example suppose you must understand this concept um, that will clarify lot of ambiguity about the trading now first thing to trade you must understand the direction so that means you must understand the view what is your current view suppose market opens and you waited a uh, few moments so suppose now it is the time of 9:30 am and market uh, market uh, you are trying to take a position now at that point at 9:30 am you have to decide that in which directions market will go most likely a uh, market will go up market will go down or you are expecting market will remain sideways now this is the first decisions point you must take that is what is the decisions point first decision point in directions you must understand the direction now these excel sheet these bank nifty trading pro 2.10 clearly give you about the directions so it first decide in which direction most likely market um, is uh, moved and what will be your trading plan so first say uh, you decide in which direction you have to play up down or sideways now obviously it is impossible um, to pick the uh, origin of any trend that is the reason you have to wait before a trend show you the directions or if you have to wait before a market uh, show at least a bias for the day for example that is the reason we require a level so uh, at that point at that point uh, suppose you are in this point in this point you are and at this at this point you are deciding that which direction uh, market is likely to go for that you have to give a certain initial indications of the market before you want to decide the directions you will trade that is the reason we required a threshold we required a threshold that threshold give us the directions that which way market is likely to move and from this point suppose you have given two threshold and this threshold is given by this uh, bank nifty trading pro 2.10 for example it has given two threshold 36406 and 36131 now it has given you two threshold one is 36403 uh, 40 mm -hmm. 406 sorry and 406 okay that's not an big deal uh, 
make it 36406 this is the upper threshold this is given by the magnetic trading pro 2.10 xl and there is a lower threshold 36131 so what is the lower threshold lower threshold is 36 36131 this is the two threshold now the idea is that if market move above this threshold then it is indicative that market is likely to go in up direction and you will uh, probably initiate um, your trade from the long bias and then there is a exit plan which is mentioned um, if as it mentioned that ex exit if sale order trigger is 315 now it says that what it means it means that if this lower threshold um, has triggered and because overall bias according to the bank nifty trading pro 2.10 is towards down movement so it is better that you it, it, you exit or you hold your trade till 350 otherwise if the buy side has triggered or the buy um, threshold has covered then it says that you you can book at 36 770 70. now why it is saying that because it is uh, based on the data it is um, it is anticipating that it, the overall uh, bias should be on the sell side but as if market if market uh, eventually although is in a overall sell bias but triggered uh, or temporarily try to move on the upside you must um, you better to book profit at certain level rather than holding till the market end this excel as you as you know that uh, we follow the principle of gardener and that means we try to stay flexible this is our idea now here one point i must say that having a plan ready having a plan ready is very essential uh, for the overall trading now once you plan your trade then you have to decide this is a road map right in which direction you will move from uh, which directions to which how up to which directions you will move if the 36406 trigger then it says that you should you should uh, keep a target of 36770 so idea is that if market uh, breaks the 36406 level then you will travel or your goal is to deal 36770 and if the market breaks 36131 then your goal is to hold 315 your journey will not at that case will be decided by a distance cover but the time that means um, from the point uh, the trade will trigger you will hold the trade till 315 now this is the the purpose of bank nifty trading pro 2.10 is give you the roadmap that means it help you to plan your trade now once you have planned ready you have decided the roadmap you have decided from which points your journey will start and in which point your journey will end after that you have now option you have two choice whether you want to take this journey or you want to travel this path from say uh, if market moves above 36406 based on our bank nifty trading flow 2.10 you should travel um, or plan your travel till 36770 now this plan is ready now the next question is that how you travel this path will you travel this path with a car or will you travel this path by 
running will you run to cover this distance or you will um, you will um, go through a car now generally what it means that now if, as you can understand that if you uh, go with the car then uh, the journey will be much smoother much faster and you will reach your destinations early but if you go with the run uh, if you choose select uh, or choice to run then it will be uh, not such smooth ride as you can expect now here going or traveling the path say you the market has moved over 36406 and you want to travel faster uh, then you should travel with future so in that case you will buy a bank nifty future but similar path similar trade similar um, point of entry similar point of exit but now you want much more flexibility much more flexibility that means uh, you want to keep your risks a little bit lower but you obviously uh, compromising with the gain uh, the gain is that um, traveling fast and traveling traveling smooth with that because you are trying to reduce your risks and you want to run then it is single leg option that means um, your plan should be ready first and then um, you should decide that in which way you will play your plan so you have two options you can play the same exact uh, exact trading plan which is given by the bank nifty trading pro with a future or you can do it with option it is not the questions at the beginning the beginning question is that how i decide that i should play from the long side how i decide that i should play from the short side now if i decide a threshold level if market show or indicate by moving above that level or going below a threshold level then i understand that we better to play from long side or we play better to play from short side and then it is up to us whether we will uh, travel the path with option or with future there is a pros and pros and cons for both future and option but this is the basic anatomy of a trade now the next question should comes okay if i uh, want to travel the path with option then what will be my other decisions point now because you want to travel the path with options you need additional information for example what will be your strike price for example what will be your strike price now the basic simplistic manner don't make things more complicated your strike price should be the stoppage your strike price should be the stoppage or the um, stop st or the stoppage from where you started your journey that means what that's mean you can see that the threshold level here is 36406 so as soon as market will cross 36406 you will uh, decide that today i will i should attempt the trade from a uh, long point of view or bullish point of view and your starting point that means the first stoppage mean where from you are onboarding into the trade is 36406 obviously your strike price will be 36400 will it be call options or put option very simple because you are traveling um, um, towards the uh, the threshold has breached on the upside that is the 36406 will 
uh, you will take trade from bullish point of view that means you will take a call option so what will be the strike price the strike price will be 36400 what will be your um, target now i generally uh, recommend you do not place stop loss or target in the option um, but uh, try to understand that option is a derivative someone is driving the option and the driver is underlying so here the driver is the magnitude itself so it is far better to check keep and track on the driver to gauge in which directions the car is most likely to move so very simple you will buy simply a 36400 call option in this case if market if market breaks the upper threshold if market breaks this upper threshold then you will buy a call options and you will buy the call option with the third, with the strike price of 36400 and when you will book profit in case of profit and in case of loss both now simple what is the plan the plan is it will automatically comes here the plan is target if buy order trigger is 36770 what it means it means that most likely the driver will uh, stop um once the destinations will reach and the destination is 36770 and the destination is 36770 and say the 36770 level is somewhere here so this is the destinations and you are trying to uh, play the uh, path between 36460 uh, um 36 000, 6, 36 this is the um, road you want to travel and to travel this road you actually um, um onboarded a taxi um, or um, or a car um, that is uh, most likely to that direction in that case you started running and you bought a 36400 call option and you will exit the, your call option positions once the 36770 level of the magnet underlying will reach now you bought a options and then market doesn't moves in your direction and market comes down and you have to exit or book loss in your option question is when when you will um, book loss in the option simply uh, when market will reach the downside threshold your all positions should be square so suppose market in instead of moving in that directions instead of moving in that directions uh, suppose market start moving uh, instead of in that directions this was your Uh, plan A. The moment this threshold has breached, you have decided to um, play 36406 to 36770 with a 36400 call option uh, that you are holding. But suddenly market say uh, change the path and market now um, move on the opposite direction, and it can happen. In that case, what will happen? Obviously. the call option you have bought at 36400 will the price will come down in that case the moment the lower threshold 36131 will be breached you have to exit the option in generally if you trade with a monthly option if you trade with a monthly option then there is a, a two part you must understand in generally um, before in generally before 15th of the before 15th before 15th of the month 
you will lose 75% uh, of the underlying movement. What it meant? It means that if the if the time, if the date is before 15, then in this case, uh, 36, uh, 436, 130. Suppose there is a, um, um, there is a 300 point gap. So, um, in that case, um, around 200 point. Uh, so, the gap is 300 point. And in that case, if you buy a at the money, op um, uh, at the money option, and if it is the monthly contract, so 70% of this distance, that is uh, 300 into 70%, that means 210, um, around 210 point of loss will happen in your option. Similarly, if it is after 15th, if it is after, after 15th, um, generally after 15th, you will find that um, the uh, stock, Mm, uh, option will be uh, will be cheaper and in that case uh, in that case you will find that you will lose around 50% of the range you will lose around 50% of this uh, range value so if I summarize then couple of point we must understand in today today's discussion one is there is no as such um, um, clear cut boundary that which strategy you will um, you should use in um, option which strategy you will use in uh, future now trading strategy and option strategy is two different aspect a trading strategy give you overall plan for trade that means it says that uh, if this minimum threshold reach then you should keep a positive bias and you should go long and your uh, target should be this and your stop loss should be that this is the trading uh, strategy now bank nifty trading pro 2.10 is a trading strategy this give you the overall plan you uh, should uh, go with the trading now the second part of this is that whether you will travel the path with the future or you will travel the path with option that is entirely a different uh, thinking or thought process in this case with this bank nifty trading pro 2.10 we recommend that once the one of the threshold bank nifty trading pro give you two threshold one of the threshold uh, breaks one of the threshold one is the buy side threshold one is sell side threshold if the buy side threshold breaks then you should go long and that means you should approach the market with a call option the strike price should be as close as possible with your starting point of the threshold in this example it is 36 400 if market bre breach the 36 131 you will go with the put option and your strike price will be 36 100 once you onboard it with the option that means you decide that today you will run you will not use the car the next thing is that you should track the driver the driver is the uh, underlying uh, uh, to decide that should we should you run or should you stop or should you reverse etc now if you see that market uh, reach the 36 770 level that was the plan according to the bank nifty trading pro 2.10 then you will exit your options at that time alternatively if you want to decide no i am busy and i will uh, not able to track the market then i will recommend the if the if the calendar day if the calendar day is before 15 
then 70% of the movement that means 70% of the 36406 and 36770 if the a month day is 15 before 15 keep a target of 70% distance of the of the traveling path between 36770 and 36406 so it is roughly around um, 340 point so um, uh, so uh, around Mm, 340 point means 370 percent is 210 point and 40 is 28 points roughly around 240 point should be your target and if it is after 15 then uh, instead of 70 percent you should go with 50 percent so uh, your target here the distance is 36 400 and 36 777 that is 330 point uh, you will roughly around take a target of 170 point. This way you can decide um, the 70 percent of the difference between upper threshold and lower threshold as a stop loss and the 70 percent of the entry point to the target point as a target if it is uh, before the calendar day of 15. After the calendar day of 15, you should roughly uh, target around 50% or 60%. And this is the simplest way, I believe, uh, to trade in option. Remember, one thing if you want to remember from this episode is that don't talk about or look after uh, the option trading. First decide the trading, then you should decide whether you will trade it with future or you will trade with the option. Now both option and future has pros and cons. That is not the discussion point here today. It is about the choice and based on your choice, whatever we discuss today, you can use this Bank Nifty Trading Pro 2.10 uh, with option easily. If you want further details on that, if you want that um, you want to discuss or you want to participate in our ongoing uh, Friday class to talk about more about this, then kindly contact on 744-09-89344. You can WhatsApp and you can participate in our next class where I uh, show you some live example uh, of the trade to make you things clear. Thank you so much uh, for your time. Um, I am really grateful uh, for the kind of support uh, you all are giving to me. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.